What's up, my name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to tackle a viewer requested topic. On a previous video of mine, I basically showed you how to move the Apex Legends files from Steam to Origin and in another video from Origin to Steam. And a viewer left a comment on one of my videos basically asking how do we move Apex Legends from Steam onto the beta version of Origin or now known as EA Desktop. But the process is really similar and I will be referring to the previous video where I compared the different installations to see what files were different. The process is mostly the same, so if you haven't been able to figure it out yourself, here's a step-by-step -step guide of moving Apex Legends from Steam to Origin. If you'd like to know how to move it from EA Desktop back to Steam, simply follow along with the Origin guide as the steps are basically exactly the same. Just of course, you're using the new EA Desktop program instead of the Origin program. Currently, the software is in open beta, so you can go ahead and download it and test it yourself. You no longer need to register with an email address as far as I know. If I open up EA over here, you can see I've got Star Wars Battlefront 2 installed and it's popping up on my recently played list on the left hand side. I can fire it up and I have it installed in the Origin launcher. To move games from Origin to EA Desktop, all you need to do is simply log into the same account and everything should be showing up where you left it. You, there's no special steps you need to follow to migrate to or from the Origin program to EA Desktop. But moving from Steam to EA Desktop is a little bit different. First of all, if you have Apex Legends installed on Steam, you need to make sure that the program is completely up to date. If I have a look over here, you can see there's no update pending, and if I were to click play, the game would launch up and stick me on the home screen. If you're able to do this and you're connected to the internet, that means that your game is fully up to date and we're ready to move it across to a different platform. Simply right click Apex Legends, hover over Manage, and then click Browse Local Files to open up the Steam installation of Apex Legends. Because I'll have Apex Legends installed on Steam and I'll carry on playing it there, I'll show you how to put it onto EA Desktop. In other words, I won't be moving away from Steam, I'll be copying it out of this folder so I can play it on both platforms. You can of course choose to copy or move it. I'll go up a folder to select Apex Legends and I'll simply copy it to a drive or another folder where I'd like to install it on EA Desktop. You can of course leave it on the same drive, just move it out of the Steam folder to make things a bit simpler for you. Basically, what you want to do is either copy or move this Apex Legends folder out of your Steam folder and into a new folder where we'll be installing it on EA Desktop. I'll be creating a new folder on my E drive under games called EA Desktop, but of course it doesn't matter where you put it. Whether you choose to copy it so you can play it on both platforms or move it so you can play it on only EA Desktop, that's up to you. Now that we've moved the files across to a different folder, let's go ahead and remove the files that differ from the Steam installation. So, open up the new Apex Legends folder. If you have an underscore installer folder, you'll be deleting that, but I don't currently have it. Then, I'll select Crash Pad. I'll hold Control to select multiple files. I'll select Easy Anti-Cheat. Scroll down. If you see Install Script, select this as well, as well as R5 Apex and R5 Apex Data.bin. After selecting all of these files, simply just delete them or move them across to another folder. At this point, open up EA Desktop and navigate across to Apex Legends. If you don't see it, head to Home and then simply search for Apex, select Apex Legends and then click a download over here. Then we'll get this pop-up over here, simply wait for it to render in. Then we'll click Change next to Install Location and we'll be selecting the same folder that the game is currently installed in. So for me, it's on my E drive, then games, then EA desktop. Now all that you have to do is click select folder. Don't select the Apex Legends folder first. If you do, go back and then reopen the EA desktop folder or whatever folder you put the Apex Legends files into. I'll click select folder and as you can see, E games, EA desktop, Apex. From here, all you have to do is select a language and then click next at the very bottom. I'll click download and the download will begin. I'll skip a survey and you can see the download is currently calculating and now it's starting to download. All you have to do now is click the options button in the top left, followed by exit. Now, if we head back a folder, you'll see an Apex folder and an Apex Legends folder. The Apex Legends folder over here is the same one that we had on Steam and the Apex folder over here is currently downloading. All you have to do is simply delete the new Apex folder and you're left with your Apex Legends Steam folder. Select it and then rename it to just be Apex as such. Now you can reopen EA Desktop and eventually you should see that the download is paused or currently starting. There we go, downloading. 
It can take a bit to get further than this point, but currently it'll be going through the files on your disk and seeing what matches what's already downloaded, etc, etc. You'll probably end up with a very small download at the very end, but it won't be as big as re-downloading the entire game. If it seems to be stuck just here, don't worry, you can open up your task manager with Control Shift and Escape, head across to the Performance tab, and you should see that your drive that you have the game on is reading many, many files. It's currently reading at 200 megabytes per second on my current drive, and to go through 60 gigabytes, you can see that it should take about five minutes to verify all of the files. So all you have to do is simply wait for this to finish, a very small download will start, and then eventually you'll be able to play the game. And there we go, you can see there's about a 100 meg download that's currently completing, and it's done. Finalizing, we should be able to launch the game in just a moment. So I'll simply click play, and you'll see the game launch up in just a moment. Everything should work exactly the same as the Origin version, and of course the Steam version. I've now successfully moved it from Steam to EA Desktop, and of course if you're moving it from Origin to EA Desktop, you don't have to do anything, you simply just have to search for the game, and the play button should immediately be there. And there we go, as you can see the game is working exactly as expected, and everything should be perfectly fine, if you want you can verify the files, though that's exactly what's just happened. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, my name's been Techno, here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!